So I think we can all agree that at this point, Poland has just gone crazy. Um, the country that has been trying its hardest to cling to its nationalist conservative values has recently decided they're going to do that through complete stupidity. You may remember in December of last year, for instance, when Poland banned businesses being opened on Sundays. Poland lawmakers have approved a law restricting Sunday shopping from next year. The government pushes ahead with what it sees as a return to Roman Catholic values. Because, of course, it says in the Bible that you should honor the seventh day, that being Sunday. Not because you worked hard all week and deserve a day off, by the way, but because God rests on that day, and you're not going to outshine the creator of the universe. Oh, and by the way, if you're not a Roman Catholic, maybe you're a Muslim, or like me, an atheist. Well, too bad. The legislation, which was passed in 254 to 156 on Friday, this was Friday, December last year, so, will gradually phase out shopping on Sundays in order to provide workers with a day of rest and allowing more time to spend with their families. Of course, the bill didn't really say anything as far as worry about you getting that extra day of pay if you need it, so, you have kids you need to feed, well, sorry, Dad's gonna have to spend time with them starving. As of March this year, businesses are going to have to shut down at least two Sundays a month. By next year, it's going to have to be only opening on one Sunday a month. And by 2020, they will not be allowed to open on any Sundays. Luckily, smaller businesses are exempt from this new regulation, so I'll give them this. This could actually be a great opportunity to boost small businesses. However, it still seems like an overall really stupid idea. And for that matter, can I just say how pathetic it is in a nationalist country that they, like Poland, a conservative nationalist country, essentially, one of the most conservative in the entire European Union, that they can't get a day off because maybe the workers need an extra day off because, come on, guys, God and stuff. You know, am I the one who finds that kind of sad? Now, when I saw that, of course, I just sort of laughed at all. I didn't really think about it. But then I remembered Poland recently because it comes in my nightmares from time to time. And because it is trying to in implement a new controversial Holocaust law. That's right. A law about the Holocaust. Those are always the best kind of laws, guys. Anyone suggesting that Poland was complicit in the Holocaust could face fines or even imprisonment of up to three years under a controversial new law approved by President Azirajiduba. The law makes it illegal to accuse the Polish nation of having taken part in the atrocities and systematic mass murder of the Jews committed by Germany during World War II. Now, of course, there are two problems with that. One, it is completely anti-freedom of speech. But two... They did take part in the, um, what do they call it, mass murder of the Jews committed by the Germans during World War II. You see, Poland was a country that Hitler invaded. And when that happened, he actually built it up as part of the Holocaust. Now, whether or not Poland was complacent in it, that's kind of debatable. However, they still took part in it. And now, <laughs> believe it or not, this wasn't even the original law. Initially, the law was designed to criminalize the use of the phrase Polish death camps for extermination camps such as Auschwitz. That's so much better. We're not going to ignore the Holocaust. We're just going to ignore Auschwitz. For the record, imagine if in the U.S. they had a law that made it illegal to or that made it illegal to mention the Native American genocide. No, we here in the U.S., we take pride in that. That would probably be funnier if it wasn't true in some respect, but you know. With this, Polish politicians wanted to make it clear that it was the Germans who set up the extermination camps on German-occupied Polish soil. 
Okay, again, that is fair. You probably shouldn't have a law about against being wrong, but okay. <laughs> Members of Parliament wanted that the draft bill that has been prepared two years ago needed clarification to avoid ambiguity. Ambiguity. However, the government kept the language vague, leaving a law that could enable it to classify a, border, a broad range of content as a danger to the dignity of the Polish nation. So, state-sponsored nationalism now. I hear that worked out so well for North Korea. The truth is, you should be able to have businesses open pretty much any day you want in a free society, especially one like Poland that's been priding itself as one of the freest in Europe. If you guys want to be a capitalist society, okay, let's go all the way. That's all I'm saying. And you should be allowed to say, hey, there were extermination camps in Poland. Even if you phrase in a way that's technically wrong, that should not be illegal. And that's it. I'm Ephraim, and good night.